Hey, welcome back to the Google My Business Setup training series with Aaron Gonzalez. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about geotagging your photos for your Google My Business listing. I'm going to talk about why it's so powerful, and then I'm going to actually show you an example of how to do it so that you can go ahead and do this for your business listing with all of your photos. So if you've been following the videos up until now, I recommend, you know, if you haven't, to go back and watch any that you haven't because this is done in a sequential manner that uh, will make the most sense and create the most ease for you in, in doing the entire process the right way for your business. And so what is geotagging? Well, if you think about your Google My Business listing, it is tied to a particular address, right? And so when somebody is searching on a, using a, you know, using their phone or using a Maps application, it's going to show them businesses that are nearby and businesses that are, that are, really well optimized. So in doing this process, you can actually show up in searches where you may not even be the closest person, uh, the closest business to somebody who's searching for your services, and yet you, you'll be better optimized than your competition and you'll show up instead. So geotagging is taking the rich media, like the photos for your business that we're going to upload to Google My Business, and embedding them with this geographical data so that Google knows the photos have to do with your particular location. And so when you take that information, you think about it, somebody searching on the maps using, usually it's a phone, and using that geographical data and your photos also match that data, it is a huge signal to Google and the other search engines that your business is the real deal and that it is in fact where you say it is and that people should come visit. Okay, So this will lead to a substantial increase in the number of people actually finding you through Google My Business and we do this for all of our clients and you should do it for you too. Quick stat for you, I believe the number is actually 44%, but over 40% of people will use a map-based app like Google Maps to start their search for a business or for some kind of service or product, okay? Most people are using Google for this search, okay? So that's why this is so important. Now, one of the tools that I'm going to give you here is this one. It's geoimgr.com. And this is a free tool that you can use in order to geotag your images for the purposes of this this, this step in geotagging your images. So I'm going to actually open that up here. And you'll also notice here that I have the main information for our demo client, side click design. I have the address here. This will be very important for the purpose of this step. Okay, so let's go over here to geotag, uh, geoimager.com. Okay, and it says here you can drop photos here or click to upload. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pause the video here. I'm going to find a photo to drag and drop over into here. Okay, so I dragged and dropped the photo into this area, and then this bar filled up as it completed its upload, okay? And you'll see the photo here. It's it's just a square. It's it's cut off, um, you know, but it, the, the photo is actually fine. It's, it's full. What we want to do next is we want to actually come up here into the search box, and we want to put in, <clears throat> excuse me, put in this data, this, this actual address. So I'm going to copy here. I'm going to move over here. I'm going to paste it into this box. Okay, and you see how the actual address pops up? This is good. We want that to happen. Okay, and then you see that it actually tags where the business is located on the map. So you want to make sure that the, the marker is where your business actually is. So do a double check on that before you do that. And you notice that it throws down here, it puts up the actual latitude and longitude, loca the, the exact location of the business down here. Okay, so this is really great. This is perfect. What you want to do next is you want to click on write EXIF tags. So that will actually put the the tags down here into the photo. So I'll do that right now. Okay, so now it says up here, photo tagged. So now it's got the photos in here. And then when I'm done, I can click on download. Okay, now it's downloaded the photo. And if I did this right, let me open this up. Okay. What I want to show you here is if I open up the information on the photo, you will see, notice right here, it says latitude and longitude. If you look at the old photo, this is not on here. Okay, so we had just successfully added the proper information 
for this photo, the geotagged information into the photo. So you're going to want to do this for each and every single one of the photos that uh, we we talked about in the previous step. I don't believe this tool allows you to do more than one at a time. I had some problems with it the other day. It used to be able to let you do as many as you wanted, uh, but unfortunately you got to do them one by one. Uh, unless you buy the actual tool, which is a monthly cost, uh, which which I don't recommend. Um, you can do this for free. It just takes a little bit of time. Um, however, if you want to do this fast or if you are planning on doing this for multiple locations or you're going to do this for some of your own clients, what I recommend is actually jumping into our advanced training where you can get a complete tool list of the different tools that me and my partners use in order to quickly and easily geotag all the photos for our clients uh, and then also the other information and best practices that go along with geotagging okay just wanted to keep this information short to the point if you follow these steps here you will be heads and tails above the competition and your stuff your Google My Business listing will start getting much more exposure as a result of having your images geotagged. If you've uploaded images in the past without doing this I would recommend pulling those images down putting the geotags back on them and then re-uploading them following our entire process starting with some of the last videos on keyword research and finishing it through till the end. So again if you want the complete tool list and some more extra strategies in regards to making your geotagging even more effective click the link in the description below this video you can find out some more information about that and with that uh, I'll go ahead and end this video and then catch you in the next one we're going to be going into some more detail about what to do with the keyword research that we did in previous modules. So. Now that we've geotagged it, let's move on to the next step. Thanks for watching my video. If you got some value out of it, give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them as quick as possible. And then click that subscribe button if you want to get updates for all of our new upcoming content that we're publishing every single day. I'll see you on the next video.